Game Packaging 4 Oscars Trash Race Atari 2600 Designer Linda King no way! Artist Squim! Gus Allen Page 242 Wait, wait, Oscar, Oscar! What? Wait, what? Did you know you had your own Atari 2600 video game? Yeah? Really? Yeah, it was called Oscar's Trash Race. And I, I read this uh, from this book, Art of Atari by Tim Lepatino. It's an illustrated history book of the talented artists from Atari that, that um, worked for Atari during the late 70s and early 80s. Now, previously, I was learning about Miss Pac-Man for the Atari 2600 and 5200. Now, on page 242, we're going to learn about Oscar's Trash Race, your game. Ah, you piqued my interest. All right, go ahead, read from the book. I want to hear about this video game featuring me. Okay, so yeah, thank, thanks for your attention, Oscar. Uh, page 242, the game is called Oscar's Trash Race. There's a lot of content here to look at. Uh, a lot of artwork, interesting artwork. But first, let's learn about the game itself. Here's a close-up of the game. Oscars Trash Race. Here's a bit of the history. Sesame Street's surly garbage can wearing Muppet received his own game as part of Atari's children focused line of titles. In it, the young player matches the number of objects with Oscars Trash Can and follows directional arrows to practice learning the concepts of left, right, up, and down. The game is slightly more challenging than other entries Atari aimed at children, so it really isn't garbage. And here we have a close-up of the game, a thumbnail, it's a green screen with a blue garbage truck, I assume, and there's three garbage cans in the background on the horizon, beige. And there's a purple background of uh, black, uh, dark uh, buildings in the background. And according to the, the information here, the, ga the, the game is actually slightly more challenging than the other Sesame Street Atari games. So there's actually more of a uh, satisf satisfying gaming uh, experience from this game than the previous uh, games we learned about. The previous Sesame, Sesame Street games were Big Bird's Egg Catch, Alpha Beam with Ernie, and Cookie Monster Munch, all for the Atari 2600. But this game trumped them all. They were all uh, inferior to, in the, uh, qual the uh, sophistication of Oscar's Trash Race. So your, your game turned out to be much more uh, interesting than all the other three Sesame Street games, uh, Oscar. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Uh, that's pretty uh, tickling for me. Uh, but I think I'm getting bored here. I think I'm gonna go back to my trash can. Wait, wait, wait! One more thing. Uh, uh, what? I'm gonna show you some really great artwork for the front cover, and then I'll let you go. All right. Here we have a close up of your game, Oscar. Oscar's Trash Race. The front cover description reads, Game Packaging for Oscars Trash Race, Atari 2600, Designer Linda King, Artist Gus Allen. And here we have a yellow, sort of a graph, yellow and light white or yellow white uh, graph with the usual logo CCW, red, green, and blue, Children's Computer Workshop, an activity of Children's Television Workshop, Atari 2600 logo on the top in red, and we have Oscar's Trash Race for children ages three to seven. And we have the uh, illustration of your handsome mug there, Oscar. Yeah, I can see myself. You're, you're waving to everybody from your trash can with your trash can lid like a hat. Yeah, I, I like to wear that thing on my head. And you have the Sesame Street logo CTW on the top right corner of the il illustration with a yellow and green garbage truck and two gar other garbage cans with a blue number one and a red number one and below that is a there's of course a red border around you uh, oscar and um and there's a dis little yet red description reads a fun and educational video game for the atari 2600 vcs 
So there you have it. That's page 242 from the book Art of Avatar by T Tim Lepatino. What'd you think, uh, Oscar? It was great. Now go away. Leave me alone. Well, I, I guess that was Oscar's way of of uh, gratitude for showing a nice video game that featuring himself. And he that's the way he uh, he wanted to express himself. Well, I'm Jeremy from Video Gamers Oasis. This is who I am speaking. And you've been watching a reading of Art of Atari by Tim Lepatino, a history book of the talented artists from Atari during the late 70s, early 80s. This is all we have the time for this video. Tune in next time. We're going to go back into another Muppet-based video game on page... 243, we're going to learn about Pigs in Space, starring Miss Piggy for the Atari 2600. Thanks for watching. Stay healthy, stay strong, and may you find peace within. Bye for now.